All right, so in this equation, I'm gonna be solving nine to the power of x is equal to 36. So to start, my variable in this equation is x, which is what I'm gonna be solving for. And we can already tell that x is not gonna be a whole number because nine to the power of one is nine and nine to the power of two is 81. So we know that x is gonna be somewhere in between one and two. So we wanna find the exact value of x. So to do that, what I'm first gonna do is take the log on both sides. So I get log nine to the power of x is equal to log 36. And the reason I used logarithms for this is because they have a special property that states that if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front, so this turns into b times log a. So before, x was an exponent, and it was really, it's almost impossible to solve the equation just in the form x is. But now, we can move x to the front and make it equal to a whole number, and now it's much easier to solve for x. So now I get x times log 9 is equal to log 36. And now, obviously, we want to isolate x. So I'm going to divide both sides by log 9. So then these two cancel out. And I get x is equal to log 36 over log 9. Now, we aren't done yet because we want to find the exact value of x. So we don't want any logarithms in our solution. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite log of 36 as log of 9 times 4 because I just want to simplify log 36. And now I can use the property that states that if I have something in the form log a times b, this is equal to log a plus log b. So in this case, I have log 9 times 4. And we can say that a is 9 and b is 4. So this turns into log of a, which is 9, plus log of b, which is 4. And remember, I still have all of this over log 9. Now, if I have something in the form a plus b over c, this is equal to a over c plus b over c, and this is just using fraction properties. So I have log 9 plus log 4 over log 9, and I'm going to rewrite this as log 9 over log 9 plus log 4 over log 9. Now, anything over itself equals 1. So log 9 and log 9 cancel out. And I get 1 plus log 4 over log 9. Now from here, I'm going to simplify this by rewriting log 4 as log of 2 squared, because 4 is equal to 2 squared. And I'm going to do the same thing to log 9. I'm going to rewrite it as log of 3 squared. So now remember that if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, this is equal to b times log a, because I can move b to the front. So I'm going to be reusing this property on these two terms. So log 2 squared, I'm going to move the 2 to the front. And same with log 3 squared, I'm going to move the 2 to the front. So I get x is equal to 1 plus 2 times log 2 
over 2 times log 3. And now I can cancel out these 2's. So I get x is equal to 1 plus log 2 over log 3. So now from here, log of 2 is equal to 0 0.3010 and log of 3 is equal to 0 0.4771 meaning x is equal to 1 plus 0 0.301 over 0 0.4771 which is equal to 0 0.6309 so 1 plus 0 0.6309 is 1.6309 so this is my solution.